The Art and Engineering assignment is part of the EI140 Fundamentals of Engineering module at the University of Galway and is set out to expose students to creative thinking, research and principles with the task to engage in various forms of creative expression such as photography, painting and creative articulation. Students were tasked with creating a black and white painting alongside a short descriptive essay which is based on the inspiration from a selection of nine presented photographs. Here are the nine photographs that the students were given to select from. Now let's have a look at some of those paintings that the students completed and listen to the students themselves read out their essay. My name is Alana McCann. My painting is titled Freedom and I chose images 1, 5 and 8. These pictures spoke to me as I got the feeling of being stuck and a frustration. I thought about this and realised it was because of freedom. There's a lack of freedom in these images. People being isolated due to floods, art in the form of books being locked in a cage, and a woman forever stuck in stone. I expressed this in my painting by showing a person with wings inside of a cage. Forever have I longed to be like a bird and a freedom to fly away. However, even then I wouldn't be completely free. Whether it be due to financial, personal, medical or environmental reasons, or factors completely out of my control, or even to be trapped within my own mind and my own body, freedom is something that remains only in the imagination, at least for me. My name is Ahmed Galander. My painting is titled Future for Earth. I chose images 2, 4 and 5. My painting represents how the future of Earth is in humanity's hands. Picture number two shows me a man-made cause of climate change and how humanity's actions could lead to the eventual destruction of the Earth. In picture number five, I can see an effect of climate change. Flooding around the globe is increasing due to climate change, again, caused by humanity. Picture number four, however, shows me an alternative side to humanity. It shows me that we can be helpful to one another and caring of our fellow human and by extension our planet. My painting chooses to leave the future of our planet open-ended because I believe that humanity can choose to work together for the common good. My name is Francesca. My painting is titled Peter Pan and I chose images 2, 7 and 8. This painting was about the inevitable process of growing up. I painted a little girl frantically running for her life, clutching her precious teddy bear in her small arms. Behind her bear is raging flames, flames that represent the problems of adulthood, i.e. unemployment, homelessness, pressures of success in education, etc. Problems that force us to act proper and to move away from fun and exploration. The van speeding towards her symbolizes each year that forces her to grow up. The child yearns to cling on to her childhood by trying to run away from the monstrosities surrounding her and into the arms of the bears ahead, representing her childhood. The tall hills that stand behind a child are never ending. One day, she will stop running. One day, the flames will consume her. One day, like many of us before, have to accept that we are no longer allowed to act like kids. My name is Karen O'Sullivan. My painting is titled, When the Floods Come. I chose images one, five, and six. I was drawn immediately to the images one, five, and six, and decided to explore the complex connection between humankind and our environment. In recent years, a serious disconnect has become apparent. Through our actions, we are mindlessly destroying the natural world from which we come. We see ourselves as something other, free to plunder resources with no thoughts of the consequences. In my painting, I was inspired to combine elements of images one and five to create a humanoid tree, calmly awaiting her fate. When the flood scene in image six come to pass, both humankind and the natural world will suffer. As a future engineer, it is crucial to think critically about our role in the world's future and hopefully make changes for the better. These pieces of art are a sample of more than 200 created by first year engineering students at University of Galway in December 2022 as part of the Creative Response Assignment. This assignment was inspired by the Art and Engineering module developed in a 12 week civil engineering design course for final year students at the University of Sydney, Australia. This course was initially uh, delivered by Harry Partridge, founding director of Partridge Engineering Consultants in Sydney, and since 2016 by Eamon Madden 
former managing director at Partridge. Following their experience in 2018, the course was introduced into the curriculum of multidiscipline engineering students at University of Galway by Professor Jamie Goggins, Professor of Civil Engineering at University of Galway, and Eamon Madden, with assistance from artists and researchers to facilitate the art studios. It is fantastic to witness what the students create within three hours without any prior knowledge of what the workshop was about. As faculty and lecturers, we need to give students lots of opportunities to express themselves within the and outside the curriculum.